Hey guys, thank you. This was a great conversation. And we are gonna take a few questions from the audience because we've got some some great questions already. And um, you know, the first question is really thinking about from bring your own device perspective and transitioning from corporate does require mobile device management. And what is Verizon's take on the additional expense from an MDM perspective to, to an organization? Igor, you wanna grab that one? Absolutely. So obviously having having an MDM in place is uh, always a good practice, whether you have a BYOD strategy, corporate liable strategy. And uh, from our perspective, you know, the additional expense there, you know, would would not be there if you have one and the other. So um, I, I'd say that's that's probably the best way uh, to answer it. Now, if, if you do incur that and in, in going in that direction, uh, obviously, you would outweigh also some of the, the costs related to uh, to holding a BYOD strategy and some of the risk involved. So it's really all about the risk appetite that uh, that's out there. Right. So, you know, kind of building on that, right? So, you know, a lot of a lot of our audience and and industry, you know, industries rec represented here don't really have a a compliance or regulatory requirement around their job function. So, you know, BYOD is a, a better fit, right? And, you know, oftentimes people, there's some resistance to, to uh, carrying multiple devices. But, you know, we see a lot of resistance from users in allowing the company to have, you know, full MDM control over a personal device, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of concern there from a privacy perspective. So, you know, when you think about that, what is Verizon seeing in the mobile application management only space where the focus is on securing the corporate data versus the entire device. Uh, I'll run with that. So uh, I'll hit a couple things here. Um, as somebody who refused to carry two phones myself for quite a while, I understand that pushback, but I think there's also some advantages to uh, a two device strategy of corporate liable and personal, where you do have that delineation or that complete distinction between your personal life and your work life. Uh, I, I know you can put things on do not disturb and all of that, but there's also something freeing about putting your, all of your devices down, shutting them off at the end of your work day and walking away from work versus having it sort of hanging in your, your wallet as Igor referred refer to it uh, or your pocket. Uh, and then the other thing that I would say here is um, it really depends on mobile application management on which operating system you're using on that mobile device. Android seems to have a little bit more flexibility with their whole work versus personal split. Uh, Apple has some of that flexibility as well with iOS. Uh, but I think it still comes back to even with that whole one uh, device dual identity approach, uh, I think some employees are just going to be reluctant to intermix those two services uh, on their personal device. Some of this comes down to trust, obviously, and trust that only, you know, what is the company's property or side of the device is going to be viewed. But I think you'll always have that resistance of running a corporate MDM solution on a personal device. And then the last thing I would say is, even if you don't have compliance needs uh, or regulatory needs, you're always gonna have those security needs that Igor has spoken so well about uh, before. And those are regardless of, of what type of employee you have. So just another one of the factors going into the whole BYOD versus corporate liable discussion. Awesome. I really appreciate that. And thanks for bringing back the security aspect, uh, you know, separating the compliance piece. So thanks again, guys, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, team.